Alex, some crazy weather in Macon today, going from 29 as the low yeah. all the way into the 60s, but I'm loving it. <laughs> I know, speaking of the Winter Olympics, and it felt even colder than the 29 that we recorded because of the wind chill yeah. out there this morning. Some places even felt like the teens, especially towards the north, closer to Atlanta. Now we are cooling off once again. We're not going to get quite as cold as we got last night. Winds out of the west northwest at five miles an hour right now. But like you were saying, 64, the high temperature, that's right on average, but that low this morning was not. 29 degrees was what we got down to that is 11 degrees below the average current temperatures across the region. We've got 130 on the board, 150 on the board, 41 down in Eastman and in Macon, 44 Roberta, 46 in Butler, 47 in Montezuma and 46 in Rochelle this evening. Not a speck of rain on the radar this evening as we are scanning across the region. We do technically have a front sitting here and it's only on technical terms because you can't really see it on terms of the temperature map, but high pressure up to the north that is keeping us quiet here in the hours ahead. So let's go through the overnight hours again, cooling off down into the middle 30s across the region, then warming back up tomorrow to close to where we were today, if not a few degrees warmer across the area. This is 5 p.m. tomorrow. Once we get into Monday, though, that's when things begin to change. So this is 6 a.m. Notice we're not even going to get into the 30s overnight Sunday into Monday, but as we head through the day on Monday, we're going to see some rain develop. So this is 3 o'clock dry during the morning hours. Once we get into the afternoon hours, a few specks of rain across the region that will become more widespread by the time we get to 5, 6, 7. So Monday, the best chance for rain across the region. Then once we roll this into the evening, uh, the widespread rain becomes more scattered in nature as temperatures still staying in the 60s there across central Georgia. Let's get into the long range stuff. Now we do have a chance of rain each and every day. This is Tuesday at 5 p.m. A few specks of blue and green. The models agreeing on a few scattered showers. And just when you think that front's going to come on through here, it dissipates right like that on the doorstep of central Georgia. This is Wednesday at 5 p.m. So maybe the next one will work right here. It comes taking shape across the Mississippi River. About to slide into central Georgia Friday morning and then just no just some scattered showers across the region. So a uh, chance of scattered showers each and every day. And that's going to be greatest on Monday. So a 60% chance of rain on Monday. That's what you saw with that wave of rain riding the jet through and then a 20% chance of rain Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then into Friday as well. And that does mean we're going to continue to warm up. So yes, tomorrow in the middle 60s, which is where we should be for this time of year. But by the time we get to Thursday, those high temperatures are going to be in the middle 80s and that's hot by February standards. Our average high is 64. We're going to be some 20 degrees above that average. Average. As for tonight, though, not going to get anywhere close to that down into the middle 30s, 33. The overnight low temperatures near freezing across the region winds out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then for tomorrow, 65, so a few degrees warmer than we were today, maybe even a few more clouds than we saw today. I think most everybody stayed mostly sunny. Sunrise tomorrow is at 727 in the morning. Winds out of the east southeast. Notice they're shifting there 5 to 10 miles an hour. So the seven day shapes up like this President's Day, the rainiest day, and then back into the 80s, 84 by Thursday. And then there comes a cooling trend by the time we get to Friday and Saturday. A 20% chance of rain Tuesday through Friday. That's down to a 10% chance of rain on Saturday. Connor Hines, you were all over Central Georgia this evening. <laughs> Tell me about it.